Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about pulmonary interstitial trigogenesis imaging. Technology, specific disorder of unknown etiology in childhood interstitial lung disease, classification system. More accurate term, neonatal pulmonary interstitial glycogen accumulation disorder. Most common signs symptoms, severity of presentation is highly variable. Respiratory failure with pulmonary hypertension, tachypnea, hypoxemia. A. Neonatal or young infant, typical less than six months of age, PIG has not been described in infant more than 10 months. Non imaging, non specific imaging finding of diffuse or HCHC ground loss plus C, interstitial sickening, and hyperinflation. Apparent largely would be as attributed to avalanche growth anomaly, abnormality, which pulmonary interstitial glycogenosis. Often accompany histopathologically. Other lung diseases include infection and suffocant response disorder, put also similar finding. A picture in a term neonate. With tuna syndrome and a respiratory failure reveal hyperinflation with diffuse ground glass opacity and subtle sickening. It are seeking from the lower, uh, from the lower lobe in same patient with tuna syndrome, so subtle sickening and area of patchy ground loss opacity. Web C revealed it shows H pulmonary interstitial glycogenosis. Axiety to abnormal, so pause interstitial marking in the lung. Due to pulmonary interstitial glycogenesis, not the multiple lung node malformation of the meiostem and axiom. HRCG from an 11 day old neonate at the level of the middle and lingula bronchi confirm patchy area of ground glass opacity. Biopsy reveal a mild agola growth and abnormality with patchy pulmonary interstitial glycogenosis. AP radiograph in a term neonate with a respiratory difficulty, so slight hyperinflation with patchy peri and peri opacity, no proroxygen or chemotaxy is seen. Treatment possible benefit from corticosteroid. Thank you.